People who cheated in a relationship. Why? Because I was a dickhead who thought sex was the same as affection. There are reasons for that, but I'm not going to make excuses. That said, I've been faithful for 25 years. I've been in a monogamous gay relationship for 3 years now. I still fantasize about the days where I was sleeping with different men every other weekend. But I think, if I were to cheat today, I'd feel forever awful and realize that sex is not the same without affection. Thanks for a response. It actually scratched a spot for me. Young and dumb. Not really ready to commit and too much of a coward to break it off. I walked in on her with a co-worker, so I revenge cheated with someone close to her. It created a triangle of emotional damage, but I learned how to process the bad stuff in a healthier way once the dust settled from the three of us destroying each other. I was tempted to revenge cheat, but then I thought about it and realized that being a cheater was who he is, not who I am. I filed for divorce instead. Because I'm an idiot. Maybe was an idiot suits you as you're one of the few people here who didn't blame it on others. Maybe he still is cheating that's why he used present tense. Because I didn't have the emotional intelligence to end it like a considerate human being. Everyone keeps saying these humble and insightful things. Meanwhile tons of people cheat simply because they can. Not because they are unsatisfied in the relationship and really need to end it. They simply pursue their lust without moral qualms. That aside, I come from a culture where cheating for men is the norm. Kind of like having a, comma, HTTPS, Sopranos, fandom, com slash wiki slash comma, in certain settings. These guys don't cheat because they lack emotional intelligence or whatever. Rather, it's a culture of informal polygamy. And of course it's not just guys. I know several women who have cheated. Some married. For some. That actually indicated the end of the relationship or marriage, which followed soon after. But for others, it was just what they did. They liked the security of the relationship, but couldn't resist acting on their attraction to others, etc. This thread would be a lot more representative if we heard more from all this crowd, instead of the regretful introspective one. But I see they are staying silent. Edit, it turns out that you will find those accounts if you sort by controversial which is revealing of this reality. People here don't actually want to know why people cheat. They just want to know that cheaters hate themselves for it and are sorry for it. That's why vapid non-answers, like I was selfish are heavily pushed to the top, whereas more unpleasant realities are buried. That's why for example you're not seeing people openly admit that it was fun at the time, or that the thrill and taboo of cheating made the sex amazing, and that having to sneak around to F was intoxicating. Redditors don't want the whole truth, the full spectrum of reasons why people cheat. Instead, they want the reassurance and comfort of self-flagellation and regret. Sort controversial. I had no morality or ethics. Lots of insecurities. Lacked emotional control. Had makes me feel, and hope, that you've grown as a person. Hopefully not relevant quote. I used to do drugs. I still do. But I used to, to. Mitch Hedberg. I was selfish. I can think of a hundred reasons why I did. But in the end I was just selfish. I do not have many regrets in my life, but that one will stay with me forever. A life lesson learned the hard way. My ex GF cheated on me. I'll have to see her for a while, because I had a son by her. Reading things like this gives me hope, that one day she'll look at herself, and finally admit how badly she hurt me. Thanks for sharing. I'm glad you learned, and hope you'll treat your current or future so's with much more respect. It was decision I made, selfishly, getting caught up in the heat of things, and not taking someone I loved into consideration, when I did it, just outright generally being an asshole all around, something I've thought about over the years and deeply regretted. Once you really hurt someone like that, it truly sticks in your mind and you never forget it. You can't take it back yeah no? You can only make sure you never make such a terrible action again. I was the other guy. A woman I'd known for a couple of years was becoming increasingly disillusioned with her husband. He was drinking too much and getting more and more emotionally and verbally abusive. We had a two month fling because she wanted to feel valued again. 
she dumped me, and told me she was going to make a proper go of her marriage. She gave him 6 months to quit drinking, or she was going to kick him out. He just got worse. The final straw was, when he drunkenly dragged their eldest kid out of bed at 2am, to berate him about the state of his bedroom. She kicked him out. A week later we hooked up again. 22 years and 2 grown up children later our fling is going quite well. I always wonder, why we don't see more stories like this on reddit. When I rely no multiple people who cheated in response to abusive partners. One can imagine the motivations vary. My ex-wife was incredibly abusive and controlling. And she used violence and the police, to keep me from leaving her. Women around me started to sympathize and approach me. And I was so starved for affection, that I didn't even hesitate. When people say it's never okay to cheat, or it's never the person who was cheated on fault. There are stories like these that plainly point out how complicated these situations can be. Brother, or sister, I hope you're in a better place, because that sounds so horrible. Reason given was, one last fling before the ring. That would have destroyed me, I hope you're doing okay. I was young, selfish, and broken. 25 years in the military working away I never once cheated on my wife. After leaving the military I was so busy working and earning we started to grow apart. We both knew it, but crucially I buried my head in the hopes things would get better. She had a brief affair citing the gap between us as the reason. She never once talked to me, or tried to improve things, but then again neither did I. The difference being I still loved my wife, but she fell out of love with me. Look after what you have as you never know when it will be gone. When I hear about these situations, my first thought is why. Not why did someone cheat, but why didn't they just tell the person they're with that they no longer love them and wanted to look elsewhere before having the affair. It just seems like a lot of extra hassle sneaking around. Not to mention the disrespect and dishonesty. Edit, I'm sorry you had to go through that. A lot of people are slash have been in the same situation. You shouldn't blame yourself though, even though you both may have not put in the effort. She's still the one who cheated. He had a side chick who was my best friend. She thought we were in a poly relationship, but it was just him who wanted us both. So I cheated on him with her, and stole his side chick edit. I told him I'd be okay with it, if it wasn't just him who got to date my best friend and I and that us girls also got to date. He told her I was okay with it just being him dating us, even though it was really me, she wanted to date, and he was just an extra, since I was dating him at the time. I stayed with her for a while, but we mutually decided we were better as friends, and are still best friends to this day. I used to work with a woman who was a bit adventurous. So when her boyfriend told her that he wanted to try a threesome she agreed, and they brought in another woman. The two women liked each other so much, that she kicked her boyfriend out, and moved the woman in. Apparently that was the right choice for her, because those two women have been a couple for over 20 years now. My ex wanted a good house, regular routings and extravaganza shopping for jewelry and clothes. I switched to a new company, and got a better job. I believed in keeping her happy financially as well. Worked my ear off, even on weekends cheated on me with her bf from before marriage six months into the marriage caught them red-handed her father what did you expect if you are unavailable backslash view 200 d dodged a family of bullets for context i'm a woman now in my 30s it was my first relationship she manipulated me into dating her even though i'm straight i was a teen and in a bad place mentally she was physically and mentally abusive and I felt, like I could not leave her. Six years later I figured that, if I cheated then she would finally allow us to break up, and also I was just desperate and selfish, and wanted to have sex with a guy, which I had never done before. It's the only time I've ever cheated, and I'm not proud of it, but it did work. She still didn't want to let me go, but after spending time with someone else, I felt strangely empowered, and was able to leave. I honestly wouldn't consider this cheating, more like escaping. I just like to win the Monopoly games against my so. I found my brother's throw away, y'all. Little things other people saw in me, that my so didn't. Instead of recognizing the dozens of other things so saw in me, and being happy with, that I wanted to have my cake, and eat it too. 
Of course this created a negative feedback loop and the fallout was enormously painful, which I deserved plus some. I never got caught, not sure what she suspected, but, the secrets, the neglect, the deceit, etc. eroded a pretty strong bond. Minus 100 tenths do not recommend. So I don't know if this necessarily counts as cheating. I guess it's a matter of opinion which is why I'm sharing. Me and my ex-girlfriend had a really bad argument where she threw the promise ring I gave her at me and told me to get out. Within getting into all the details, I didn't see her again for a little more than a year. I saw the fact that she threw that ring as us being done, so I spent that time seeing other women. Then when I do see my ex again she tells me that she thought we were still together. So to her I cheated, but to me we were done. Any thoughts on this? I would probably side with you, even without the promise ring. A year without seeing each other is a fair indication. I did. Twice. Once was in high school. I had just gotten out of my first relationship. That looking back now, was pretty abusive. I wanted to be with anyone I could. Dated a nice girl for a while and wanted more. So I cheated. I hurt a good person and it sure as hell didn't help me at all. Then once in college. Dating a girl I had dated in high school. Again. I lacked emotional maturity. I started talking to a girl on Tumblr who lived on the other side of the world. I should have broken up with my girlfriend about a month into the relationship when we had a conversation about how we didn't think we'd work out long term. Hindsight is 20 over 20. Now I'm married to Tumblr girl. We met 10 years ago. And I gotta say, it has been great and boy was there a lot of learning for young me to do. Looking back, I feel bad about the people I cheated on, and I have reconciled with them. If I could go back and do it again, I would simply just break up with the person instead of cheating. It would have caused less pain. I had a GF once. Long relationship. Serious. Thought we were soulmates. So I forgave her each and every time she cheated. I just thought you don't give up on love no matter what. But each time. It wore on me. Finally one day I revenge cheated. I thought. Because I'm f stupid. That if I did it once I could let go of the many. Many times she had. Instead it made me feel I'd become the thing I hated so much. And I never forgave myself. She never changed. We broke up. And to this day 13 years later she still is up to the same old thing. And yet even still, I feel like that one decision made me a bad person forever, equal in depravity to her. It was a backquote silly mistake according to my ex. A silly mistake to me is forgetting my bus pass, or wearing odd socks, not messaging hundreds of other girls, meeting them, telling them they're the backquote loveliest girl in the world etc. Cheaters are horrible, and shouldn't be in relationships if they can't keep it in their pants. I was cheated on in a relationship. In retrospect I was neglectful. I chose to prioritize other things. Someone paid her attention and she fucked him. I'm not saying it was justified, but I at least acknowledge that I had some part in it. Because there is no sex in our relationship. Hasn't been for nearly a decade. We have been in the relationship for 18 years. Don't get me wrong. We love each other very much, and there's kissing and cuddling and hugging every day. We support each other, and we have same values and sense of humor. But we also know how to respect each other's own time and we don't have to do everything together. But usually we want to do things together. We truly are soulmates, but I think we never were sexually very compatible. Sure the sex was okay in the beginning for a few years. But that's it. It never was very passionate. We have talked about it couple of times. We have talked about open relationship. But neither of us want to have the kind of open relationship where we would talk to each other about our sexual partners or adventures. So we kind of settled on if I don't know about it. It won't hurt me. We kind of have permission to seek sex outside our relationship. And at the same time kind of not. I do count it as cheating. But it is what it is. So far it's working. Well I've seen PPL do it because they were self-sabotaging. I've seen people do it because they were self-sabotaging and following their fun parts. And I've seen PPL do it just for the fun parts and a million different reasons. I don't know why PPL cheat, but I do know it will be hard to get a straight answer out of someone who has 
I've asked a few I knew close enough. Like most s I don't hate all cheaters I know. We all need to learn and grow. We all need reminded that sometimes. But fun bits. Mental illness. Or anything isn't worth staying with anyone who doesn't love and respect you enough to not do everything in their power to make you feel loved and respected. That's my can't sleep at 5 a.m. TED talk. Because I knew this question was gonna come back after like a week of it being asked and I wanted to feel included lol. But I'm genuinely curious. Do the people asking this question genuinely think they are going to get a response that isn't some variation of because I'm an idiot or similar self-loathing comment? Or I was in a loveless and or abusive relationship and this was the only port in a storm slash the only way to leave. The people who cheat, and do still cheat. For any reason than those stated above, don't post about it. The internet's anonymity only extends so far, and it will be brought up eventually. Because I was a coward, and was unwilling to tell her, that I didn't really want to be with her. It was a pathetic way to act. Ask my ex. Son of a bee had no conscience lying to me over and over again since the beginning of our relationship. Felt like it was built from lies. I don't even know how many women he was hoarding. Sure does not look like the type to do that, but man the fact that he was so comfortable with doing it while pretending to be a good guy is so twisted 